19. <clears throat> um, looked it up. The last time I did this video, or I did a video in the series, was a day before Dragon Quest Nine or Dragon Quest Eleven came out. Uh, that was a year ago. <laughs> About, I'm sorry, eleven months ago. Not that bad. Wasn't there some talk about the Baccarat Casino owner having been have been moited, and the criminal was dressed like a jester? Has to be Dual Magus. We have to stop him. How many more people does he intend to kill? All right. Um. Fuck. I don't. Ugh. I don't even. I don't even a little bit know where I am in this game, so bear with me for a moment. Dragon last paint. Um, well, here's a link to game facts. What? There's like four links to. Um, interesting. Uh, there's like four links to the, uh, stop it. Um, what do you call it? Um, I'm losing my mind. Yeah, it's gone. <clears throat> Let me try this again. There's like four links when I Google search Dragon Quest XI to, or sorry, Dragon Quest Eight. I'm losing my goddamn mind. To Dragon Quest VIII's, like, GameStop page, and I don't know why. I own this game. I've always owned this game. I don't remember why I would be searching for it. Dragon... Let's try Dragon Eight. Yes, there we go. This game's on fucking Android and iOS. That's ridiculous. Alright, let's just consult the good old Alex FAQ. Because they're, uh... They're usually pretty good. Macarat... Oh, I think I want to... I think I know what I was doing. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think... I was supposed to be doing the, um... Uh... Backyard region. Is this, what is this for? Table of contents. That's fine. 01.34. Uh, the reason I was... I think I took a stall because I was going to go try and get the, um... What do you call it? The saber cap bell? Let's say I'm right on track for the levels. That's good. Welcome to the town of Baccarat. Um, previous floor. I'm gonna say something. Oh, okay. So you gotta speak to the bartender if I haven't already. <coughs> so if you're watching this in order, um, sorry, again, for like the eighth time at this point. Oh, I've been to Chateau Felix. Did I get the bell? Or did I just go there and I was like, okay. <clears throat> this is odd. I really don't remember any of this. Now, someone smarter might have gone back and watched their video. But all I remember from this video last time was, um... I had a lot of trouble getting the video to actually work. Um... Which was the reason I stopped. So... Yeah. I don't know how long this video will be. Probably like half an hour. I like to come back to this, to this game every so often. But not play it enough where I'll know what I'm doing. Um, I will say, since this game, or since my last video, I have platinumed and destroyed Dragon Quest XI. And I'm assuming by the time the next video comes out, um, I will also have, uh, or Dragon Quest XI will also be out on Switch. So. <clears throat> Okay, so that was the info I needed. They're, um, they're gonna be in, like, an island off in the corner. Uh, let's go to Chateau Felix after this. Uh, yeah. Fun stuff, though. I still think this game is one of the best RPGs of all time. And this is usually the point where I drop off. So, I'm purposely trying to get myself to power through. Because the game does get better in, like, the end game too. It's just, for now... I'm not like fully, 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 100% uh, engaged. <clears throat> um, but that's fine. It's not the game's fault. Just hard to keep momentum going. English is wild. What the fuck are you talking about? I can't read this. Interesting. Okay. <sighs> Alright. 
Let's look at the giant cat. Good. Oh, yeah, so I just, I literally got here and then didn't trigger the cutscene. Oh, no, okay, wait, hang on. Did I? What the fuck am I doing? Also, these graphics did not age as well as I thought they did. Dragon Quest XI has spoiled me. of the great Cybercat father, Master Felix. My name's Tom. I'm Master Felix's... Get father. it? Because Tom Cat. To see him? <coughs> Excuse me? But Master Felix is a busy man. He hasn't got time to meet any old thing the cat dragged in. I'll have to ask you some questions. If you can prove you're a top cat... I'll let you in just now. Question number one. It's light, and it's raining cats and dogs. You're hurrying home. When you hear a little kitten meowing, it's right soaking wet. But everyone in your house really hates cats. So what do you do with the kitten? I didn't see what that option was. Uh -huh. That actually pressed too fast. I didn't realize there was going to be a input. Question number two. You're the king's servant. You go out hunting with the king. Then you find a tiger in a trap in the woods. So, what do you do? I wonder. Free the tiger from the trap and let it go. Let the tiger live, but show it to the king. Kill the tiger and then show it to the king. Uh, free the tiger. Uh -huh. And... Question number three. Is this motherfucker purring? You are an explorer. Along your travels, you're attacked <clears throat> by a great cyber cat. This may or may not have happened already. You managed to overpower the cat, but it looks at you as if it wants to become your friend and travel with you. So, what do you Let the cyber cat join you on your travel for <laughs> the finishing blow. Obviously, they'll join me. And now. To let the I'm sorry. I can't okay. let you in if you really want to see him. Alright, so I definitely got the first question wrong. Maybe, just maybe, because I didn't know it was multiple choice. <coughs> oh, I have How's to go through it? the whole fucking thing. Okay, never mind. <laughs> question. It's light. And it's also, this is the, this one bothers me. Because this is the one that's really like the most realistic. Cats. And I would absolutely take that kid in. Pretend to not have seen it? Ugh, take it home and ask your family let it stay. Yeah. Purrs, okay. Let's not fuck this up. Can we just, like... Uh, free the tiger from the trap and let it go. <clears throat> so do tigers exist... In this room, in this realm, like, different from Great Saber Cats. Can we fucking move this along, Wool Cut? So I know his pants are supposed to be, um, cheetah print pants, but all I can think of is Garfield and the subreddit, I'm sorry, John. I, I am S-O-R-R-Y-J-O-N. And the weird internet phenomenon of making Garfield, like, a demonic eldritch beast. And how much I love it. <clears throat> You've proved that you're the cat's whiskers. A real hip cat. Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> you have permission to see Master Felix. You can go in. What the fuck was all of that? If Master Felix is a cat, I'm walking out. Damn it. I kind of hoped it would be a cat. I know I said I was I'm walking out, but that was my, my secret was that I really wanted it to be a cat because that'd be fucking hilarious. Hmm. I say, someone other than Tom for once. The old boy doesn't often let people in, you know. You call me a rather busy time, I'm afraid. I'll be with you in a jiffy. Mm -hmm. Damn, this game would give uh, Xenoblade Chronicles a run for its money on. 
English voice acting. Uh, I think I'll take a breather for a while. Sorry to keep you waiting. So, you're an explorer, eh? I'm Felix. Well, well, Tom's really got an eye for people. Only lets decent chaps through, you know. Yes. You might just be able to assist me. There's a little undertaking I need some help with. Allow me to explain. It's an old chum of mine, you see. Gordon got himself lost, would you believe? Normally, I'd go and help the old bean out myself, of course. But as you can see, I'm on the plate just at the mo. The mo is not a thing. That's, That's not a real abbreviation. Come in. I'd like you to go and give the old bean a bit of assistance. If you don't mind, that is. Well, what do you say? Will you help? Capital! Right. More like cat piddle, am I right? Do, then. I'm not Around right. Around these parts, there are four great saber cat statues. You might have seen one of them on your way over. They all point to the same place. There's a strange tree there that's only visible at dawn, and that's precise. All I need you to do. Some sand of serenity. Okay. He's a clever old bean. Once you've given it to him, come back and pay. If you leave here and head up the hill, you'll get a view of a couple. Ah, Burr. golly! I, I suppose you've never ridden a great saber cat before. Give the old speed a bit of a boost. What? Tom will exp All right. <clears throat> so, fun fact: I've never actually done this side quest. It's like. It's like a staple of this game, and I just never have done it. It also just gives you, like, a mount, and I just never... Like, I didn't even know it existed. <coughs> Wasn't Mas What? Master Felix asked you a favor? Oh, he must think you're the cat's pajamas. <sighs> he gave you the go-ahead to ride on one of his great saber cats. God, this sound, guy sounds like Korg from Thor 3. Great! I was right to let you in. I could tell you were a hip cat. Okay. So, are you ready to get on? That's it. No pain, no gain. I will go anywhere if it means this conversation is over. Oh, yeah. Looking smart, bro. Hold on, was this part was this dude saying bruh like 20 or 10 to 15 years before it became popular? What? Let me tell you the basics of riding a right saber cat. Do you point the left stick where you want him to go? When you're riding one of these cats, but you can't go further. You can just go to all the same places faster. If you get off and accidentally lose it, that's it. You're so I guess I can only use it in areas I've explored? How does the game even track that? Oh, this is fast. Well, the other question is, where's that fucking tree? I know I found it before by accident. Yeah, well, all of the statues went towards it. Is the map button? Nope. Road is shitting on me. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't know why that got rid of that. Square was what I was like. Square. Okay. Um, I should do that, Felix. So it must be. I can't move my cursor, but it must be close to the bottom right. Okay. Ah. I was not expecting this. Been a while since we had the cunt smashers come fight for us. Ah, yes, these gents. When um, when all the people in Skyrim are talking about worshiping Talos, they're talking about this statue, by the way. That's a that's a known that's a little known fact for you. It might just be a theory. A game theory. I don't know why I have Dunking equipped. He's not that good. 
At least not in this style. There's probably someone better I can get. I know I was trying to do monster, monster uh, arena stuff, but um, I don't know how far I got. <sighs> That's good. <clears throat> can all of these enemies poison? That's kind of interesting. Alright guys, I probably got this. I do think I'm going to keep leaving my uh, my party members in um, fight on their own mode. Just because I think that has an extra challenge. Medicinal herb. Oh, goody. That's like when enemies drop potions like 20 hours into the game. It's always greatly appreciated. And not at all a waste of fucking space. I'm not salty. You're salty. Hey, Tom. I hit triangle and my cat went away. Can you help me? I didn't even know it was by accident. Try not to fall off again. Tom, just, just the fuck up. This music is pretty neat. I really, really do like the orchestral soundtrack. Eleven's soundtrack was also phenomenal. Alright, so I can check the map and stay on it. That's good. I did go the wrong way. I'm gonna go this way. Nope. It's hard to <laughs> maneuver like this. Um... Oh, I forgot to heal. Shit! Also, I forgot that circle also counts as this kind of move. Although, that's what I wanted to do anyway, so that's okay. If I remember correctly, poison lasts after the battles. That's kind of annoying. Hell yeah. Did I give... Did I have Yangus use sights? Or is that an axe? Oh, I think that was an axe. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see. You buffoon! I did it again. What game have I been playing recently that... Um... Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it... I have no idea what game I'm playing the Triangles menu, but I also don't feel guilty because Triangle is the menu in so many fucking games. Squelch. I can do it myself. Um, uh, okay. I'm gonna have to... I didn't want to do that. Now I have no time. Okay. Um, let's go to somewhere cheap. Go to Fairberry. The problem is... I want to sleep. I wanted to keep it nighttime because it don't. The tree only appears at dawn. So the only way to effectively get to the point where I can see the tree would mean I'd have to set out during night. Because that's basic mechanics. I'm also gonna check my bank info because I want to order pizza tonight, and I need to know if I can afford pizza this week. Survey says. I can. Okay. I uh, there's this ice cream place near my um house, and I really haven't. Occasionally, I'll crave ice cream, but for the most part, it's dairy, so I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, because my uh my body doesn't handle dairy very well. It's not so much that I'm lactose intolerant. It's more of like I'm lactose averse. I prefer not to eat it, but I will if I need to. Um, and then, okay, hold on, I'm gonna try and sleep until, first until the evening, okay. Um, but yeah, so regular ice cream I'm not a huge fan of, but this place near me does a really good orange, uh, sherbet and lemon sorbet. They don't do lime sherbet, which, that's my perfect combo, is lemon sorbet, lime sherbet, and orange sherbet. And a lot of places don't do lime anymore for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, all right. Remember the menus in this. Uh, and everyone's healed. That's great. Bro, you fall off your your saber cat again. Try not to fall off again, bro. I'm gonna bash his fucking teeth in. 
I'm gonna fuck him up so badly his haircut looks normal. Um, alright. Let's continue. So I did actually write a list of, uh, games that I wanted to do, um, videos in this month. I try to, so I, well, I keep track of the videos I do each month so I know if I'm, like, over, under, or what I've already recorded. I wanted to try and make goals for myself and be like, okay, I should try and record this. And Dragon Quest Eight was on that list, so here we are. Okay, so it's around this way. Oh. Couldn't get over that small ledge. What is this fucking Pokemon? Right, let's do Falcon Slash. Once um, once I get this casino business sorted out, I'm gonna get Falcon Blades, and we're gonna be fucking set. Cause uh, once you get the Falcon Blades, the game fucking changes completely. There's Falcon Blades, which automatically have you attack twice. So then if you use Falcon Slash, you attack four times. And then there's Uber Falcon Blades. Uber Falcon Blades. Which are like a beefed up version of that. So. This is faster. I do have to keep checking the map. I know I'm on the right track, but I have to keep checking it anyway. My guess is that it's on that little... Hold on. That, off, that little island that sort of connects. But it's hard to know for sure. Good news is I can just sit still and it'll change from day to night on its own. Or I'm sorry, night to day, I should say. Oh, a lot of enemies here. I don't think I know Bang. I don't think I can learn Bang. Uh, I'm gonna call the team. <clears throat> I've said this before, but I think it's a crying shame that more games don't do this like monster, like, kind of recruiting type minigame. Like, this game has it. I can't think of any other game that lets you recruit monsters and use them to fight. Like, there's some that have, like, minigame versions of, like, there's some that have, like, the monster arena point, but not the point where you can, like, call them into your actual battles. Um, I really can't think of anything. And then, when it comes to using, like, whole separate games, like Dragon Quest Monster Joker, there's, you know, you've got Pokemon, you've got Digimon, Monster Joker, you've got um, World of Final Fantasy to an extent, but a lot of games aren't like, I don't know why nobody wants to do the monster genre. It seems like it would do perform fairly well. No, I don't know. Alright. Let me see. I guess, well, Final Fantasy 13 did it to an, 13 2 did it to an extent. Ah, uh, yes. I almost pressed triangle. My thumb is literally on it right now. Um, right, what was I doing? Did I run out of shit to do with the alchemy pot and I'm just making herbs? I am indeed. That sounds like me. Um, let's see. We've got super spicy cheese. We have rose roots. Combine that with... Okay, good. I did, I did disperse it at least. Um, there was that link to that GameFAQs uh, page that has all the neat alchemy stuff. I don't think I need it at the moment, um, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Why are Circle and X both confirmed? That's just wrong. I can take X being confirmed or Circle being confirmed, but if one of them is confirmed, the other one has to be the exit button. It's really bizarre. Alright, let's switch Dumb King for... Axel is not bad. What's their attack like? Potbelly's not bad, but he can just do nothing for sometimes. Dumb... Eh. Axelorus is pretty reliable. Brickman's one of the weird ones, because he's one of the first ones you get, but he also slowly becomes uh, much stronger, too. Uh, Potbelly... And you know what? We'll do Pop Belly for now. I feel like he's better just for going out and attacking peeps. Um, <coughs> I do want to. Um, uh, there are some monsters I want to recruit. I can think of Goldman off the top of my head. I know vaguely where he is. 
Okay, so it actually it just seems like it's on the tip of that coast. Um, but yeah, Goldman is on the island, island of Neos, but he's kind of deep into it, so I wanted to level up a little bit first. Wow. He straight up casts Death. I've talked about this before, but... Death is one of those weird spells where... My first time playing Final Fantasy X as a kid, I used Death a bunch. I had every character learn Death, and I would just, like, spam it until enemies would die. But as an adult and a more, um... A more experienced gamer, I never use it. <clears throat> if it's not a guaranteed death, I don't want it. Like, that shit better kill, or I just, like, there's no point in me doing anything. Neato. I am, st I'm not gonna talk about my, the character's, uh, uh, weapons that I've chosen. I, I do agree with it. I think I've done a good job. It's a cow. Get that free milk. Alright, so... Where am I going? That's what I thought. So it connects over behind there. There's also something at the top of this hill, but I don't know what it's for. <clears throat> huh. We'll cut through here, see if it's, uh... It's good. Oh my god, they're really fucking spawning together. Um... Just to make it easier, I don't want to always call my team, but... I do want to get this shit done. Alright, I forgot the Dream Blade. That's pretty cool. Does she really only know Bang? When does she learn Kaboom? Or is it Bang, Boom... Kaboom? I can't remember the order of operations here. I feel like that should do more damage to them since they're flying, but that's fine, I guess. Nope, I don't like that. Uh, can you be asleep and poisoned? Or does this have, this have Pokemon rules where you can only be one? I think you can only be one. That's interesting. But it overrides it. I like that better, I think. Hell yeah. Oh no, okay, it doesn't... It doesn't override it. <clears throat> That's unfortunate. So you can really fuck someone up. I feel like I haven't leveled up in a while. That may be that I've been playing this game for about 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> and I haven't played this game in 11 months. So that might be why I feel like I haven't leveled up in a good bit. Neato. Okay. Hey! <laughs> there we go. Okay, wisdom went way up. Alright, if I remember correctly, I think it was close to maxing out staves. Or maybe. So, plus four. I forget what the cap is for these right now. A wing of bats. Good. Excellent. Oh, right. Thank you, I'm glad they reminded me. This is a fun one. Heal all. I think it defaults to have Angelo heal for some reason. Okay. Yeah. This is what I suspected. So it's over yonder. Yeah, it's at the top of that hill. That makes sense. I knew it'd be off to the side. Man, where am I? I'm on the hill now. Which fucking hill is it then? Pointing directly that way. Try and go around. I swear I've seen it before. But I don't remember where. Maybe I just ran, ran into it 
just out of nowhere. Also, Wolverines having or having these jackals slash wolverines with like the fucking ripper claws is such a great fucking monster design. You guys hit hard. I know you can recruit one of these. I forget what rank you have to be, um, but he's hiding like he's actually on an unmarked island, as and it's not on the map. I think it's in the bottom right corner. I want to say of the world map. I'm saying that without looking this up at all, so that'll be more impressive when I'm wrong. The fuck is that? It's a pile of shit. Where the fuck is this fucking thing? Okay. I'm trying to think of where this could point to. Maybe it's... Over this way. I feel like it would be an obvious, in, a, in an obvious spot, right? points that way. Is it in the middle of this grove here? Is it where those rocks are? It must be, right? Okay, so these, this time they're together. Which means more damage can be done to them. I, I fucking love that sword techniques don't take anything. You'd be a damn fool if you didn't use Falcon Slash on every goddamn attack. I forget, was there a job system in Dragon Quest XI? Oh, there was, but it was job light. Like, you, there was a skill tree. It's kind of similar to this one, but I think they presented better in the in that game. Um, and then... Nine definitely had a job system. I'm trying to think of other ones. Most of them do. When it comes to, like, old-school RPG, not even old-school, but just, like, RPGs with job systems, I'm not against them. It's just more of, like, I get obsessed and try to make a super character that has, like, abilities from a bunch of different jobs. It's gotta be right here. There's, there's no other option. So now we wait. I'm just gonna wait here. We'll, we'll read the guides to make sure I'm on the right track. Uh... Oh, fuck, what the... What the hell? Oh. I guess I turned off. I am Bomrin. I came out here on an errand for my master Felix, but I seem to have lost my way. I know, it's probably the strangest thing there, but perhaps you know where it is I'm supposed to be going. Oh, yep, that was right, there's the tree. That's probably the strangest thing else, perhaps you know where it is I'm supposed to be going. Hand over the sand of serenity? Yes. Give me this story. Hmm? Man, fuck this game. Fuck... Fuck Dragon Quest's, like, uncanny ability to introduce you to a character for, like, ten minutes and then make you care about them. I wasn't expecting dead pets. What the fuck? That's my face right now. What? Fuck. I 
hate this. This is literally... Dragon Quest does this better than any fucking series. Which is the random ass, like... Oh yeah, I forgot. I think you can find the Yggdrasil le leaf here once a day. This is Yggdrasil uh, in Dragon Quest VIII. Very different to Yggdrasil in 9 and 11. <laughs> Um, I don't know if that actually I lied. That might not be the the Adrasil, just a an Adrasil. All right. Now I'm sad. Tom, I lost my cat again. He ran away when he saw a dead de when he saw a ghost. I almost said dead cat. I wonder if there's like actually I don't think about it, I didn't explore these things, and that's not very uh not very JRPG of me. Although I, I assume they're locked for a reason. Fucking pool? Why do they have a pool? They train cats, cats hate water. I do wish they had other character models for cats, because it looks kinda weird with all these like regular cats running around. That worked out pretty well, though. We got there basically right at the right time. Actually, no. If I'd gotten there a little later, I would have seen the tree ahead of time, and I'd be like, oh, there's the tree. Alright. Is it going to have me stand behind him for some reason? Yep. What ho! Finally made it back, I see. And you managed to give my old charmer leg up. That strange tree where you met him has been known since ancient times as the Tree of Sticks. Correction, I was wrong. That is very much not Yggdrasil. It's all too bally easy to lose your way around it, not realizing that your innings is over. But now the old beans realized what's happened to him, and he... You know he, Borin, was the first Sabercat ever to open up his heart to him. Absolutely terrific. It's thanks to him that I've got where I am today. And that's precisely why I couldn't leave the job unattended to go and help the old boy myself. Hmm? What am I doing? Of course, I haven't explained yet. Eh? I gotta be honest, I've been curious. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You're writing notes in your fucking cat palace. I'm the chairman of the great Saber Cat Trust. I that hope that raises more questions. Remember, it's the least I can do after all your help. You have this. It shows you're one of us. Do I have to meet with one of the and have one of those weird fucking terrifying meetings? Receives a bell, proof of membership of the Great Saber Cat Trust. It's odd that it didn't play the item music when it did that. What's the bell called? Well, it doesn't really have a name. I suppose that'd make it a bit of a pig to you, eh? Righto! How about we call it... <laughs> oh, that's so sad! ...in memory of a good friend and a fine old gent. Ah, there we go. I can say, it, was, it felt bizarre. Thanks for your help. Remember now? Always keep the saber cats in your heart. What? Alrighty then. We've unlocked the bell that makes cats like us. It's that easy, guys. Alright. What the fuck is in these built? Why are these here? Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Alright, yeah, that's on me. To be fair, that's terrible level design. Like, dog shit level design. <laughs> Why would you not have the cages with the saber cats facing towards the player when they run in? Like, what? That literally just looks like a wood wall. <laughs> Nonsense. Alright, hey! We got Bomberin's Bell. Um, since, to continue the story, we have to go to, um... Uh... 
that island in the north west west uh, I think now would be a good time to call this video I know it's a little shorter than I make these sometimes but th that was a fairly clean wrap up so thank you guys uh, I don't know when I'll do another Dragon Quest 8 video maybe in another year <laughs> I if you've been watching these, you know the fucking story at this point. And by story, I mean you know how I treat these, which is, eh, I get to it when I get to it. The good news is I have a functioning capture device for this, so there's no physical blocking for, of this. It's just me being a shitty person. So, thank you, and see you next time. Welcome to the July Patreon uh, and YouTube sub. Thank you guys once again for another amazing month. The anniversary stream went wait, went, wait, 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 went great. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Uh, I want to thank um, Annie, Norm P, Sean, and Rev for the one dollar. Carlos for the two. Azor for the three. Happy for the five. Uh, Mons for the five as well. And then uh, I'm trying to do it from memory. Hold on. Sir Anyak, Connor Soverwald, and Sean Thomason for the ten dollars. And straight atop their throne, we have Michael Smith and John Barnett with the fifteen dollars each. Thank you guys so much. Love you all. Uh, and then for YouTube. <clears throat> We have C. Miller, Mayo with the one month, Michael Smith, Electric Narwhal, Rap Tax for four months, and then John Barnett, Louisa, Sir Eniac, and Maz with the five months. You guys are almost Metal Greymon, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, thank you guys again. Don't forget, if you uh, put $5 down on YouTube, or if you put even as low as a dollar on Patreon, you get access to a special tab in the Discord. It's a secret, don't let anyone know about it. Um, that you can see all the early videos uh, and stuff there, so... Lots of fun. Like I just recorded nine videos yesterday. It's not. I'm not gonna release nine videos publicly today, but those will be up, you know, within the next couple days. So you know, if you want to see your early videos, if you're like, damn, Nick just doesn't upload enough videos. He doesn't upload fast enough. When can I see the next Metal Gear Solid video that we all clamor for? I th there you go. Go on Patreon or YouTube either. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys, and I can't wait to see you in the next month. Goodbye.